Hey everybody, what is up? Today we are looking at a Ram service truck. So this is the Ram 3500. I also did a 5500 version right here. We'll go over that. Uh, oh, sorry, no. Right here. Yeah, okay. We'll go over that second. So we have two, well, we actually have four trucks here. I have made two mods here, separating out the 3500 from the 5500. So we have a Kemi and a Cummins version for either one of them. They're both optional engines on both the trucks. Did not do a 4500 because there's no reason for that. So you get the 3500 here. They're a little bit different trucks. So on the 3500, this is based on not a Chansey Camp 3500, but a pickup truck 3500. So you get a trade uh, for the trim levels. You get Tradesman. A big horn, and then you get a sport appearance pack, which adds the body color front end. Um, versus, oh, and on the 3500, you don't get the fender flares up here. On the 5500 version, you get the fender flares, which you can make color, uh, body colored, but the trim levels are slightly different. So you get a Tradesman or an SLT. There's no optional colored front end on the 5500. This is based on a 5500 chassis cab. So let's come back over here to the 3500. Uh, I personally like the 5500 better, but uh, because you get the front fender flares, but I also like the 3500 because you get the this package and I really, I really like the front end color matched. But anyways. Choose what you want. You can't have them both. I tried to make it realistic. I had them all combined together. Then I started building the truck on the Ram website, and I said, well, we got to split them apart. Be realistic. These wheels are optional on the 3500, and I believe they're uh, optional on the 5500 as well. These were the only wheels I had. Did not have the proper wheels, so that's what you're going to get. Get a plow mount, obviously. On both of them. The rest of these options are pretty much the same for the rest of both trucks. Um, no plow mount. Or when you get the plow mount, we cut out the front bumper. Lower valence part. Uh, fog lights. I didn't look into them. You could probably get them as part of a package, but I just made them optional. Uh, the mirrors. You can put them up or down. You gotta buy them with the up dealer decals you get a couple decals here there's my local john deere dealer yeah you got several options good old gmp rear work lights um they show up here on the back of the bed you can have them on when they come in reverse or you can have them on when you turn the truck lights on and then uh you can get there's a couple wheel options uh just the regular stock wheels and then uh, some specialty forged wheels and some anthem wheels i personally think this is a beast of a truck but uh we got the gas version let's just go with the stock wheels but yeah if you get the the hemi you get the hemi badges right here and you get a hemi exhaust uh, the badges on the hood do change 3500 versus 5500 so let's buy one of these trucks we'll buy a stock 3500 uh, no plow mount now nah, we'll get the plow we'll put a plow on this one uh, the pricing is realistic too I went on the brand building price and spent a lot of time on there and then we'll get a 5500 commons as you can see you get the commons badge on the door um, We'll get, what did I, I think I bought a base model for the other one, the uh, regular one. We'll get an SLT, uh, we'll, no plow mount, fog lights, no, fender flares, black. Or let's get body colored. Interesting, on the brand website, it only costs 100 bucks more to get body colored fender flares over the black plastic. Um, we'll get some big lifted thing, here we go. I made this a single rear wheel, because it kind of, it looks better as a single rear wheel. The dual rear wheels were sticking away out, and it looked ridiculous on the back. Um, but uh, Oh, you can change the color of the cab and the color of the service body. You can go with a black one. 
We'll go with this black better. And then we'll take a look at them. Oh, I don't have enough money. We'll lease it. Alright, uh, we need to buy a snowplow too. I'll show you, it just hooks up to the snowplow. This one you want to use the wide out for. Don't put the mid weight on it. These trucks are specifically, like, it's a 5,500 truck. Don't be putting a half ton snowplow on it. Please. Obviously, you got the Hemi sounds. This is the Hemi version. We'll hook it up and then we'll give you a little bit more of a walk around. Hook it up. Lift it up. Alright, so, obviously, Hemi badge right there. 6.4 liter. I made that badge with my buddy. Uh, it's quite hard to make. Because none of the trucks I had seen had an actual Hemi badge that was correct. So I wanted to make it correct for this body style. Then we got the uh, 3500 badges on the hood since this is a 3500. Um, black door handles, black front bumper, you know, the works. The only thing is the mirrors are chrome on the, the lower trim level. They are actually black. But it would be a lot of work to go and redo the mirrors. So I said, screw it. I'm going to leave it. You can, you know, tote mirrors are easy to upgrade. We'll just say the dude put some chrome tote mirrors on. Whatever. Anyways, moving on to the service body. You got lights all over the place. You got clearance lights on the bottom. You got a tow hitch. You got a license plate. New York, of course. Uh, this one has an 86593. This one has an 86595. So if you get confused, if you're looking at 5,500, goes with the last lit digit is a five. And I accidentally, uh, I, I just found this random license plate, stuck it on there, and then I didn't even realize it was a three, and I wanted to make them different. I was like, oh, I put the three on the 3,500. Let's find a little bit. Let's make that a five and put that on the 5,500. So that's what I did. Both of them got steps, not optional. Hope you like them. They're there. Um. Lights work and everything. Uh, not a thing works back here. There's no service functions or anything. So sad. But they're not. I couldn't find a way to do it for uh, Fire Sim 22 yet. Yeah, this script hasn't been converted. But uh, tons of lights. Lots, uh, lots of lights all over the service bed. The lights on the back rack light up. Um... I guess the lights on the back of the back rack don't light up. The, the outer ones, I will have to look into that. They were supposed to be reverse lights. I don't know what happened there. But the lights on the back light up in reverse. Um, the tailgate does not fold down. It does have tension belts if you want to strap something down in there. Um, the interior is okay. Uh, it's not the best. Um... It's fine. It's adequate. Yeah, that's the Ram 3500. Um, you can plow with it. Um, I did a lot of work to this thing. I this was the, based on the 3500 single cab that I did, but I I converted that truck, the 3500 single cab long bed, single rear wheel. I converted that truck from 19 to 22. And then this I started with that truck in 19 and uh, converted it separately. So it's not identical to that truck. There's some things different about it. Um, some of the options are different. And uh, there's a few minor differences. This one over here. A uh, beast of a truck. You got the common sounds. You got the big lifted truck here. Pretty sweet service truck. Everything works, obviously. I don't have a trailer to hook up to show you that it works, but the trailer hitch works. There's our Chevy over there. Um, same truck, really. Only difference is the hood badges. We got 5,500 hood badges. We got the Cummins logo. The lights all work. We got the bigger exhaust with the diesel. The aftermarket exhaust, because I didn't have a, I didn't have a actual stock exhaust for the Cummins. So you get an aftermarket exhaust with some black smoke. Uh, the 3500. 
And you get the white smoke coming out. No black smoke, obviously. I like both trucks. Like, the stock version also looks really good. Probably one of my favorite service trucks I've did. I've done. People are going to be like, why don't you do a crew cab? I don't want to. I don't like the crew cabs. Find our 5500 here. I love the sound of this thing idling too. If you're wondering how I take my screenshots. Oh, I know hood too. I'll show you that. How, how I do that. How, if you're wondering how I take my screenshots for my thumbnails, we'll take a we'll take a thumbnail screenshot right here. Pretty easy. You gotta go into your game configuration file. Um, where is it? Here you go. I'll show you. Go into your Farming Simulator 22 directory. My get my documents. My games Farming Simulator 22 22 2. Go down to I believe game settings, and then come over here. Nope, you want to go to game. Uh, you want to come over here where it says development controls. It'll say false. You want to turn that to true. And then hit the tilde key. It's the one right above the tab button. Uh, I was already in here. Then hit it again. So then you got the little pound sign. Type GS. Camera. Set. FOV. Exactly like I have typed it. 15. Hit enter. Wait, what? Uh, FOV. No, it's the camera FOV set. That's 5. So that's real close. But look at that. Looks so much more cinematic. I'd go with the 15, though. So it look it just looks cinematic. That's the only way I can describe it. I don't know. So that'll be our thumbnail. And I probably should use the white one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go take a thumbnail with the white one too. Um, a little behind the scenes for you. Uh, where should we do it? We'll do it right in front of the service. Uh, the, the base here. Right there is good. Oh, the plow. I really like this. You get some pretty neat screenshots too. When you're taking screenshots using the uh, FOV set at 15. It's kind of busy in the background, but that works, I guess. Yeah, I'll probably use this for the screenshot for the video. Just looks so much better. And then if you want to fix it. Um, oh, I'll tell you how to get your uh, hood on and off. That is GS hood ability. GS hood visibility. And then it comes back if you want to turn it off. Just same you just type the same thing again. I'll leave it off. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me your thoughts down below, and I will leave a link to download the service truck if you would like. And I will catch you guys again in the next video.